It used to be when you went to a wedding, you got cake, punch, and maybe a handful of peanuts and mints. Some of the last couple of weddings I've been to, it was a bigger smorgasbord than Golden Corral. Now, I'm not complaining, but food at weddings has changed a lot. In the Bible, in John chapter 2, Jesus attended a wedding. In fact, in John 2 verse 1, it says, And on the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And Jesus also was invited and his disciples. Now, we don't know who was getting married. We don't know the name of the couple. We don't know what the relationship was to Mary and Jesus, if it was uh, maybe some distant family member or, or just close friends. Yet, we see that Jesus and his mother and his disciples were invited and attended the wedding. We learned something else about Jesus from this, and it's this. He was not a recluse. You see, he spent some time outside of his ministry involved in social activities. He spent some time just enjoying life and enjoying friendship and fun with other people. And this was a community event, and Jesus would have been a part of that, and he would have enjoyed himself instead of just constantly, 24-7, living in a cave, you know, with some kind of reclusive mindset. But he got out, and he lived among people, and he enjoyed himself. I think Jesus would want us to do the same. And there's one more thing that this text tells us, and it's that Jesus endorses marriage. You see... Even in that day, there was a lot of corruption, a lot of immorality concerning marriage. We see it very much today as well. And yet Jesus endorsed marriage. Marriage that is pure, that is holy, that is right according to the scriptures and right in the sight of God. And that should be a great comfort to us in understanding that Jesus wants us to live a life that is in accordance with the scriptures. Jesus wants us to have a home, and a family in accordance with the scriptures, and Jesus wants us to enjoy life just like he did.